I guess I should put my book up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Mamma Mia and Booktopia, my name is Yumiko Kadota. I've just written a book called Emotional Female, which is available on www.booktopia.com.au. In 2018, I was working as a doctor and burnt out. Um, but what I realised as I recovered was that it was so much more than just being physically tired. There's a lot of things that affect people as they burn out. It's an existential thing sometimes, and it's also a lot of systemic problems that lead to people burning out. So a lot of it is about shifting that mindset of blaming the individual and thinking about the systemic factors that are leading to people um, burning out and having these unpleasant and toxic experiences in the workplace. Burnout has three different domains. So it's not just the physical and emotional exhaustion, which is the first domain. Something else that people experience is this feeling of cynicism and also a reduced or diminished sense of personal accomplishment. So by talking about some of the early sign of signs of burnout, I think it'll help people identify if they're burning out and then think about what workplaces can do to help support people who are starting to feel that way. When I was at uni, we had a section at the end of every assignment called a reflection. So one of the graduate capabilities at my uni was to become a reflective practitioner. So we all used to groan when we had to do this little bit at the end, reflecting on what we learned from doing all these assignments. But I actually think it might have helped me write this book because each step of the way, I had to think about how I was feeling at the time and what I learned from all of these experiences. So perhaps it was a process that started very early on through medical school. I, I always was reluctant to call myself a feminist, feminist because there are so many negative connotations to that, to that word. But when I got called emotional, I was just so outraged. I thought, why am I being called emotional? No man would ever be called that. And that's when I realized that maybe I am a feminist and it's okay to, to own that and to stand up for other women as well because being called emotional is something that, that does exclusively happen to women. So it's, um, so it's actually made me a, a proud and stronger feminist because of it. You can get my book, Emotional Female, right now on booktopia.com.au. Amazing.